from Kaylin, who's actually here to show us a quick and easy way to see your images in a whole new light. There we go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, uh, Kaylin. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So uh, artists often like to edit certain elements of their photographs after they've already been taken. So say I have this photograph of these mannequins advertising a sale. Uh, but the thing is, the sale is over, so I want to remove these letters from this T-shirt to kind of repurpose this image uh, for a different use. Um, so, I mean, Photoshop has a whole lot of uh, great editing tools, so maybe I can try something from here. So what happens if I just, say, pick up some pixel values and st start trying to paint? Now, as you can see, this was really bad. I mean, it didn't really work. Uh, but that's not surprising, because the thing is that when we uh, edit pixel values in Photoshop, we are editing two things. We are editing both the colors. So I edited, the, I guess, the letters on this T-shirt. But we are also picking up shading and lighting, because you have these different uh, shading values between, because of the wrinkles on the T-shirt. So you're picking that up, and you're painting with that, and that kind of messes everything up. And to kind of create really nice um, edits, what you really need to do is take care that you preserve the lighting and the shading while you edit your textures and colors. And this is, of course, very tricky to do. So um, at Adobe, we've actually been working on a tool that makes this really easy for you. So, um, and we call this tool Extract Shading. And here I'll show it to you in our experimental version of Photo Lab. So <laughs> I'll select this layer right here. I appreciate it. It's just <laughs> very deferential. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Extract Shading tool. So when you run it, what you'll notice is that it actually produces two layers right here. So the first layer is called the reflectance layer. And what you'll notice is that it's almost completely flat. And that's because all it's doing is it's capturing the colors and the textures um, in the image. It's removed most of the lighting information. Um, and all this lighting information is actually preserved in a different layer that we call the shading layer. And as you can see, this shading layer actually captures the wrinkles of the shirt. It doesn't have any of the letters. Wow. And, and so if I actually, the neat thing is that these two layers are designed so that when you combine them with the multiplicative blend mode in Photoshop, you actually get the original image back. So you're not losing anything at all. So um, now I have my, it's going to compute something. I have my two layers. The, the great thing of having them in two separate layers is that now I can use all of Photoshop's great tools to edit each of these layers independently. So I'll do the same thing that I was doing earlier. I'll just sort of, sam oh, sorry, let's select this layer here. I'm just going to sample and start painting this letter away, right? So very simple edit. It's the same thing I did earlier. Uh, the letter S is gone from this layer. I'll put the shading layer back on, composite it into the, back, into the original image. Woo! And, uh, that's awesome. And now, that, now that's a great t-shirt. So. <laughs> I'd buy that. <laughs> so because of the extract shading tool separating your textures, and you're lighting into two different layers, I was able to edit one of them uh, quickly and create this result. So this was a simple example of what you can do with this tool. But here's a more complicated example. Um, say I have this wallpaper, um, the, uh, this, room, uh, this bedroom with this interesting wallpaper here, and I want to play around. <laughs> um, maybe I want to put in a more interesting wallpaper in here. I just sort of want to brainstorm what this room would look like with a different wallpaper. So I have this more interesting wallpaper, and I kind of, from a different photograph, and I just sort of dropped it into this image. And as you can see, it looks really bad. You know, I spend a lot of time trying to align it to this room, try to get that right, but it looks fake. And the reason is quite obvious, because the thing is that this wallpaper came from a photograph which had its own lighting, and that lighting doesn't match the lighting in this, this room. And because of those inconsistencies, it kind of looks fake. So, but we can fix this with the extract shading tool. So what I'll do, uh, do is I'll select the new wallpaper image, uh, run the extract shading tool. And if you notice the reflectance layer that it spits out, it's nice and clean, doesn't have any of the lighting. The lighting's been removed. So that's good. Um, I'll also go to the old wallpaper layer and run the extract shading tool again. And this time, what I'll do is I'll look at the shading from this. Uh, oops, sorry. What happened here? Uh, did something wrong? Uh, let's run this again. So I run the extract shading tool on this layer. If you look at the shading, it actually captures the fact that, you know, it's kind of darker here, brighter here, darker between the gaps of the bed, as you'd expect. So that's nice. So I hit OK here. Now I want the texture from the new wallpaper, but I want the lighting and the shading from the old wallpaper. So I'll just select those, the texture from the new wallpaper, lighting and shading from the old wallpaper, and I have this result here. Now, you can see. 
is what I had earlier. And this is what I got now by just, I was quickly, because of the extract shading tool, able to separate the lighting and the textures and then swap out the texture and create a quick composite like this uh, very easily. So wow. thank you. Incredible. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe we could uh, redecorate Nick's uh, woodshop here with that. Well, uh, I w yeah? I'd be interested in seeing some of the photographs that you take of mannequins. Uh, uh -huh. OK. <laughs> whether or not you, they have letters Or maybe on you don't want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank uh, you so okay. much, thank Helen. You, Great work.